So here we are gaming with the Surface Book 3 and look, yes, the Xbox controller connects straight to it. Oh, it's going nuts. Have a look. Started to wobble there. Anyway, so let's game with it. In this video, we're going to find out how this performs and have a look. 24 frames per second. Yes, the GPU is not engaged. For some reason, it has some sort of issue where the GPU won't engage at certain points. Now, when I restart, we'll come back. And then we'll get into the full telemetry, full benchmarks and all that sort of stuff. But know that sometimes that GPU won't engage. I don't know why that is. Anyway, let's restart and woof. Let's get into it. Woof. All right, so now we're cooking with gas. Now we're cooking with gas and we're getting over 100 frames per second. This is high, actually very high settings. GTA 5, 1080p. Now the thing about 1080p on this is It'll have to be stretched. You can play in windowed and crop it. So it is a, you know, a true 16 by 9, 1080p. Or you can play it like this, stretched. It's up to you, I guess. Um, you will take a little bit of haircut in the frames per second if you do window it. So, you know, crop it. But anyway, I don't mind this. It doesn't look too distorted. So it looks pretty good anyway. And as you can see here, we have the GPU engaged. Now, this thing here, we've already demonstrated that it can do 25 watts on the CPU and 65 watts on the GPU. Currently, as we speak now, we're doing 58 watts on the GPU and we're doing 24 watts on the CPU. Now, you have to look at the temperatures, the CPU temperatures, you can see 100 degrees on the CPU. It's going to be like that all the time. Like, seriously, it will be like that. Fan noise, yeah, it's not that bad. It's nowhere near a gaming laptop, of course. You're going to hear them when you're putting it under load, that's just how it is. We'll get into some gaming benchmarks in a sec, but generally, if you just wanna know how this performs with games, and this model here I have, actually has the i7, so the temp generation i7 quad core ice lake part, so it you know goes to 25 watts, it's configured for 25 watts, it has a 30 watt power package limit. We also have a GTX 1650 Ti. Now you can get a 1650 as well, this is the beefy graphics there. And you can see there we're still pushing, you know, 57, 58 watts on the GPU. And on the CPU, we're pushing 21 watts. And I have seen that reduce a little bit. So, you know, I've done the test where I, you know, hammer the CPU and GPU at the same time. Now you can hear the fans listen. Yeah, it's just started to crank up now, the fans. Now I have demonstrated you can, you know, you can hammer that CPU and GPU 100% and it was maintaining 25 watts on the CPU and 65 watts on the GPU when I was doing that. In a real world gaming scenario now here, 51 watts on the GPU and we're getting uh, 21 watts on the CPU. That's about where it sort of sits. That's the most it reduces to. But look at the frames per second, 75 frames per second, 1080p, very high settings. So you're still getting great performance there and I would say this is a gaming machine for you know 1080p high settings and every gaming benchmark I've done was at high settings and pretty much everything played over 60 frames per second high settings 1080p now the one exception to that was Red Dead Redemption where it was like 40 odd frames 45 frames per second yeah that is really hard on the system. You might want to go down to medium with that and you just play with the settings. You'll still get your 60 FPS. Just got to mess with the settings. I will say the display, yeah, sometimes I see a little bit of tearing. It's not the fastest display in the world, but it's certainly not the worst I've seen for Ghost. And it's actually pretty good in that regard. And one thing I will tell you is the games look amazing on this display. It is a really gorgeous display. It's a little bit glossy. You probably can see that at the moment. It is a little bit glossy. I've noticed this with all the Surface products that they are a bit glossy. That's just how it is. And yeah, it's going to play all your games, 60 frames per second, you know, high settings. And yeah, with those exceptions that I said before, there'll be a few there. I mean, Witcher, it's like well in excess of 60 frames per second at high settings, 1080p. I know Witcher's not that demanding anymore, but even Red Dead, perfectly playable. And I thought that the CPU would be a bit of a bottleneck, but it turns out it's not. It's not that much of a bottleneck. I mean, it is, but it's not as much as I thought it would be. So when it comes to the bottleneck of the CPU, I really thought it would be much worse than this. I thought, you know, we'll get a you know nice haircut, but you know, the CPU's staying at, you know, 2.8 gigahertz and still, Pushing, what are we pushing now? We're pushing 68 degrees on the GPU, we're pushing 54 watts, and we're pushing uh, 21 watts. So that's about where the G CPU settles at. It settles at 21 watts, I've noticed that. 
and with the GPU, yeah, 54 watts at the moment. So that will creep up every now and then. And I've actually seen the GPU at 80 degrees. So yeah, pretty good. I've got to say, it's not a gaming machine by any stretch of the imaginations, but it's very good. Have a look at the frame rates here. Have a look at some of the gameplay. Now, if you do want to know how it games when you take the display off, actually look at my MacBook Pro gaming review, very similar to that. So it'll be using the Iris Plus graphics in that scenario. And yeah, that's how it sort of performs there. So, all right, so overall, this is not a gaming laptop, but you get great fun gaming on this. And the 1660 Ti is where it's at. I thought the bottleneck would be worse, but it's not that bad. I've got to say, I'm very happy with this and I'd love to be gaming on this. And it's not that loud compared to other laptops, yeah. The temperatures, yeah, CPU, 90 degrees. That's how it is. And the GPU will get up until 80, but that is what it is. Externally, you don't feel the heat that much. All right, you will feel it a bit at the back of the display. The base doesn't feel that hot. Happy days for gaming on the surface. Anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho. Mm -hmm.